Yeah. You alright? Are you kind of thrilled here tonight? Yeah. Well, sort of have my actual. Oh no way! Uh, well, I'm a, I'm a big, yeah, I, I believe that. So, because I'm a big believer in synchronicity, you know, I don't think things just happen out of luck. Um, and sometimes the spirit world have a way of getting people uh, to myself, or just get the message, you know, through other mediums, of course. So I'm, I'm up for working with you if you're up for it. Yeah, do you want to get, well we give it a go and see how we do. Because um, I'll tell you something, I feel like you've had a very colourful life. And what I mean about that is that you've calmed down quite a bit these days. Um, and so I know this is your lovely partner and all, well I hope so, is this your partner? Thank God. Um, because I want to say to you that, you know, uh, I'm not going to open too much of your business up because it's not about that. But I feel like there's a gentleman in the spirit world that again feels like a father to me. So is your dad past, sir? Because yeah. he's coming through and he's shown me this could be one of these wee sessions where, oh, uh, um, hold on, I just put that down. One wee minute here, out of the way. Because um, there's different daddies trying to link in, but the, it's nearly where the theme of the same message comes around the room. Because he's saying to me that in life, he wasn't one of them dads again in similar ways. Uh, you knew your dad more though, that's the difference. But he was one of those dads that never really put his hand on, his, on your back and said, good for you son, you're doing all right. Your dad was a proper man's man through and through and he was tough as nails in his day. And he showed me that in his life and on his sort of more younger years, I think he knocked a few boils out. I really do. I feel like he had a side off him that if he was sitting having a drink and somebody had a said something, <laughs> Irish Gordon Fox and Chocolate. Hello, Rebecca. Can I give me a sense? 100%? What are you reckon, Gordon? Yeah. Um, so, that's what he said. So, you get me? Because he showed me in his day, and that's what I'm on about in his younger years. Uh, and I get a feeling from him to, and that's why, because he had to present that kind of toughness. And he said when you were younger, um, you know that we expect get your roots up, do you know? And he showed me that you would have had like a wee, you know. So he showed his love in other ways, but it was to toughen you up and to strengthen you. And and he feels here that again, it's like that connection with your mum. He might not have always showed her the best of love, if you get me, but he still loved her. But he wasn't a romantic man. That was the difference with him. And he said tonight here, I do love you, son. And he looks at you and, and he thinks the world of you and he showed me that towards the end of his life the two of you seem to gravitate towards each other or you've got a bit closer but it must have been hard for him to say i love you those three magic wee words yeah do you get me yeah. but there was definitely a stronger bond that the two of you would have had so i never i'm not saying you ever fell out or anything it was just Oh, we did. <laughs> I was about to say, it was just a bit difficult at times to get close to him, but then come near the end of the le of his life, he says that you sort of, you know, you sort of had to let your guard down and your pride, and, and then you had to just go up and see him. And I'll tell you something, he was ever so glad. He was ever so glad. And I tell you from the smart word, he is proud of you. And he says that he is glad for the changes that you have made, because there's a few boys in your life you went, doof to as well and he says but no more no more and he says you've had to knock a few things in the head to sort of get your head straight and there's been people in your life you've had to choose you know purposely to step back from because they haven't been good for you so do you get that so i think it's almost as if he's looking at two halves of your life from chalk to cheese but the, the, the sort of the part you're in now is like all the rainbows and the clouds and the good stuff and i feel that's why he's saying good for you and he likes this girl I hope your dad is in the bank. Have a joke. Um, so, do you get all where I'm going with that whole wee story? Yeah. From what he's trying to say. Um, can it be a wee tad personal? Is this like your second partner or something? Yeah, double figures here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Um, I'm going to go to her. Like uh, all I want to say is because he's shown me, you've, you know, you've had that sort of colourful life where you've entertained. 
and it's not always worked out the best, and now you've got a winner. That's what I'm trying to say, all right? And that's why your father, I rescued myself there, that's why your dad is acknowledging your lovely partner, and, and he says she's a keeper. So this day, keep her. All right. <laughs> sure keep her. All right. <laughs> that let you go. Doof. All right. Um. Did you ever? He's put a, a motorbike in my mind. Did you ever used to ride a motorbike? Yeah. Um, but I feel like you used to. Your dad bringing memories were um, you were half decent. I don't want to say a mechanic, um, but you were all right at sort of taking parts off and then having a wee go at maybe adding on to you or thinking you could soup it up a little bit. So do you get me? Because he showed me it wasn't just get on my motorbike and go to work and then home again. You know, there was a wee bit of um, distance at times that you wanted to go on it and maybe a bit of travel. And But this was all before you met your partner. So does that relate? Yeah. Yeah, you're fighting out these stories tonight, aren't you? I know. Um, and here's your lovely father and all coming through and he's giving you wee thumbs up, you know. So that's why I'm saying. It was synchronicity for you to be here. And I think your dad's bringing the thoughts of the motorbike and he's saying that maybe it's time to get back out again, have a wee bit of freedom and not to be afraid and let him. He'd be all right, don't worry, he'd be safe. Um, and so that's important. So will you remember that? Because he showed me that you've been thinking about purchasing a new motorbike, haven't you? I was thinking of trading over, I have a bag like I was thinking of trading over. Hold on, I'll just repeat that statement. You've been thinking about buying a new motor bag. Isn't that the case? I'm wondering, of course, I'm going to talk about it. Because your daddy's just said he's got a new motor bag. So there you go. So know that he knows that. Um, and he feels here, but you know. Uh, has to be a fast one, you know, you wouldn't do. I, I don't think it's a Harley that you're getting, but um, it's something that's a wee bit more, I don't know. I, I don't really know about motorbikes, all right? <laughs> that's fine. Um, anything else you want to get? Oh, a Honda, something about a Honda one. So will you remember that? Yeah. All right? Yeah, I'm not Honda. Ah, well then I'm on the right track, all right? <laughs> um, so that's fine. And, um, anything else? He's just saying, I'm just proud of him. He says, we did make up and we did become close and he said, I may have found it a bit hard at times because I had to be tough on well. and he said, but it did get to say in the end, I love you son. And he says, and you told him, that I love you too, you know. And then even if it was only the once, it was, that's it, you, you, you done it, you done it, do you know what I'm saying? And so you didn't leave things with no regrets, that's the difference. Um, your daddy says he is one of many that's in the sport world, but he's the one to push through. And that's why I said there's a wee theme that's going around. So will you take his love? Big massive thank you for working with me. Well done. <laughs>